Hello and welcome back to Juno New Origins. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video. Now, last time out, a few weeks ago, I was continuing with the career mode. But to be completely honest, I think the career mode is a little slow for my liking. And though I could go around and start exploring space and everything like that, I wanted to see what I could do with the build in this particular uh, title. I wanted to see what can I build. And so I've decided to do something that uh, perhaps, I don't know whether many people, I think a, a fair amount of people would have heard of this particular, this particular show. It, it dates back to the 19... I think the 1960s it dates back to the 1960s made in made in britain and it's called the thunderbirds it's about a team of rescue rescuers international rescue led by uh jeff tracy and his sons uh, scott gordon alan i cannot remember all their names uh virgil and john there we go, John on Thunderbird 5, you always forget him. Um, led by him and his team, and they just go around the world with incredible machines called the Thunderbirds. And I thought, can I make one of the Thunderbirds in Juno New Origins? So, in this video, I'm going to attempt to make and when I say attempt, this is going to be a first iteration. I think I'm going to have to do this a few times over. And eventually, I think I might want to try and make all of them. But I'm going to attempt to make Thunderbird 1. Make sure you stay tuned. And if you enjoy this video, remember to click on the like button, subscribe, comment, join my Discord server, whatever. It would be very, well, very much appreciated. And uh, yeah, let's see what I can do. Thunderbird 1. I feel like I may have bitten off a little bit more than I can chew. Oh well, let's get started. Okay, starting off with the build, and by all means you can um you can have a look at pictures of Thunderbird 1 on um, on the internet so do, do go check that out but I'm going to attempt to as I said make Thunderbird 1 and see what I can do now the only way I'm going to be able to do this is first of all by deleting all of this and actually I need to think about, well, first off, we need to think about what kind of cockpit we're going to use for Thunderbird 1, because this isn't going to work. Um, this is a bit, I, I guess this could be used. But realistically, again, can I change the shape of this? If I could change the shape of this, perhaps, no. See, what I would need to do is I would need to have, I don't want this all open, I, I need this bit. So just to give you an idea, roughly what I'm looking for is something that is going to be, really? Why would it do that? Something that is going to be roughly, uh, Come on, give me a... Yeah, let's just put that there for now. This isn't going to be exactly right in the slightest. Uh, a rough shape, maybe that, then... I guess this bit here is going to sort of flare out a little, like that. And then we'll have uh, something a little bit I suppose a little bit like this and then off this we'd have a, a massive rocket now what was a rocket configuration again there's a specific design to the rockets on the back it was like a I think it was a cross pattern or something so you'd have a 
a main rocket like that. Perhaps not that one. Maybe something. Uh, let's get rid of that one. Yes, something like this. And then I'd have. If I make that a little bit smaller. Then we'd have these and we'd put some symmetry on this. So it'd be perhaps so not quite that small. Something along these lines. Why do you not want to? There we go. Yes, something along along these lines and then we'd have some winglets and there needs to be a, a wing that goes off this bit. Not a fin. A wing that goes off this. Something... Something like that, but it's going to be a, a wing with a pretty... It's going to be a nice delta wing, so we're going to have something along... Something like that. And obviously the wing is one of those that uh, you can fold up, sort of like the F-14, so you can retract the wings and bring, give it extra speed. But something something along this sort of... These sort of this sort of line, this sort of shape. Um, I think limitation-wise, with with what we have, maybe this is the best I'm going to get at the front. Alternatively, because yes, you could. This bit is probably is where where you would have a a cockpit of sorts, but obviously it wouldn't look like that. And there's there's no other. I think there's no other reasonable... What's this one? Hang on. What is that one? No. I think this this is this is going to be the best option we have. So let let's start working with with this to to begin with. Um, what I need to do is I need to look at how big this aircraft actually is going to be. So let me have some rough numbers so we we want it to be about uh, let me think I think it's going to be about 9 meters top to bottom that is what we're looking at yep that is that that is top to bottom 9 meters so realistically already this thing's a little bit too big but this here's our our guide uh, for, for this let's go ahead and throw all of these away now that you have an idea as to what to expect we'll leave I guess we'll leave the nose and let's see so the first thing I need to do now obviously this isn't going to be exactly like Thunderbird 1 First thing I need to do is work out what is going to go west. And Thunderbird One has a it has a cargo bay towards the front. So I've got to think about I've got to think about that and getting that cargo bay in. But then it also needs fuel tanks for for the rockets. So we need to take that into consideration as well. We also have to take into consideration that it has jet engines. So we need to take into consideration jet fuel. Um, yes, quite quite a lot to look at. Um, so what I'll do is if... Uh, there's a couple of things. Ah, hinge rotator. Hello. This could work quite nicely. Okay, there, there are a few things for, for me to, to look at that... I can perhaps work on. So we'll start with, let's start with a cargo bay. Small cargo bay at the front. I have no idea which way is the top or the bottom, so we'll have to work on that. Uh, in fact, no, before the small cargo bay, we're going to put a small fuel tank. I need to lower all of this, don't I? Let's lower this whole thing until it's about there. It doesn't have to be quite exact. Um, 
also, this is going to make it look a little stubby, I think. Could I make this all a little smaller? I wonder. A metre radius. Yeah, that's a little bit... That's a little bit big. Um, that is a little big. Or is it all the way across two metres? No, no, that isn't that big. Okay, well, let, let's just see how this goes. Uh, this first fuel tank is going to have... We are going to put... Um, well, what do we need? Uh, what do we have for... There we go, monopropellant. Because Thunderbird 1 does have RCS thrusters. Stick this on top. And I tell you, let's just go ahead and paint this right now because I think as soon as I start painting things, things are going to start looking nicer. There we go. Now it starts looking a little bit more Thunderbirdy. And also, I'm going to paint all the rest of these. Uh, oh dear, what? Hello? How do I paint all of these things again? Can I not do that? Theme default, target primary, mono, Gen X. Oh, hello. I mean, that sort of works. I just want. I would just like to. Yeah, let's paint all of these for now into a sort of a. a le let's leave that there. Let's turn that into. There we go. Now it's just immediately starting to give me the the look of, of a Thunderbird. Okay, let's connect this up there. Yeah, this is, this is too stubby. This is way too stubby. It just, it just does not have that sleek look of a Thunderbird here. Let me fill this bit up with uh, right, hmm. How am I going to do this? Think. Side on. This shouldn't be pointy. That's, first off, that should not be pointy. No. I oh, will sort that out. That's not what I meant to do. How do I change the style? Yeah. Oh, get, yeah, no. No. But it shouldn't be like that either. It should be the opposite way around. Can I push that in? I wonder. No, I cannot. So it needs to be concave as opposed to convex here. All right. Well, I guess we're we're going to stick with a, a straight a straight nose for for now. Uh, as time goes on, perhaps if I can figure something out, I, I will do so. And also. If I remember correctly, there's a there should be a tiny gap here to allow me to so if I just make that a little smaller. Actually if I control Z that and I try to with a grid size try to make it a little smaller with a grid size. There we go. Okay, there, there's a little bit there. Now this top bit really should be an intake, so I'm guessing this is going to go wrong with a loss of drag. But so be it for now. So let's say we, we've gone ahead and done that. Next bit I want to do is I need to start looking at expanding the expanding this out. So I'm going to try and use fuel tanks here to do the to do the best job I can. Let's go ahead and ex expand it just a little. Nothing too nothing too major. Perhaps something along with those. That looks a little bit too sharp. There we go. I think that looks fairly good. 
And then after that, I'll add another fuel tank. This is going to be a fairly short tank. As you can see, we're now reaching that point where it's, it's bigger than what we want it to be. But unfortunately, I think at this point in time, just the way I've got this, is there really is no other way of doing it unless I were to... Oh, hello. I can make that smaller. Interesting. How, how much smaller could I make this, though? If I did that... And then stuck this back on. Clearly that doesn't want to do what I wanted to do. Um, why will that not auto-resize? Come on. Auto-resize, please. Uh, size, size, size. Width. No. You know what? Fine. If you want to be like that, go away. I'll do it again. Apparently, it still doesn't want to auto resize. There. Better? Okay, that's bit now auto resized. Good. Then we'll auto resize this bit, make that a little smaller, make that a little smaller, and suddenly we're looking a little better still not much um i think this still needs to be bigger we'll see once the once the wing goes in so that goes there that bit goes there and then behind this all we've got is a whole heap of engines now historically there was a gap over here so i'm not sure if i could pull that gap off um, I, I might be able to. Just, just thinking. How, how am I going to? How am I going to pull this off? Because the, the, if I remember correctly, it's just a tiny gap underneath this, and you can sort of see into it. But then you've got, I think, retros that go along here, which may then be an issue. Because I'm not sure if I could get the retros to, to be in there. Again, it doesn't have to be perfectly accurate. But I want to make it so that it is recognisable as... Well, as, as, a, as a Thunderbird. Um, I'm just... Again, I'm just thinking. Have I got some of these dimensions wrong? So... I'm not entirely sure. May have gotten some of these dimensions wrong. That that could work. That could kind of work. So that is nine meters. I'm fairly sure that's how big they were. Because was it nine meters? Was it 30 feet or was it 30 meters? Now I'm confused. Um, you know what? I'm just going to search this up. Thunderbird 1 size. Um, that's not, that's the wingspan. I don't want the wingspan. I want the height. Height. Here we go, from some Jerry Anderson fandom, yeah, wingspan 80 feet, yeah, height, length 115 feet, okay, it's 115 feet by 80 feet, so I've made a mistake there, which probably explains why everything is wrong, um, so realistically, what it needs to be is what? Um, let me think. 34 meters? Really? That's how big it's going to be? Uh, 
that's 115 feet. Is that how big Thunderbird 1 actually is? 150. Okay. Now we've got a, a completely new style. So in that case, I could get rid of all of that. Start again. You can go away as well. You can probably go away. You start with... I mean, uh, honestly, that probably gives it more of the style that I was expecting. Let's make it that. Give it that more pointy nose style. There we go. We'll do that. Stick that on the bottom of it. Why are you doing that? There you go. Two meters. That will do. Stick a cargo bay under that. Is that the cargo bay? Is that that's an interstage? There we go. Fairly large cargo bay. Stick jet fuel tank under that, and then we'll put a rocket fuel tank at the back because the rocket fuel tank is only used by the rockets. So we'll do that. Then I'll go ahead and do the whole expansion thing. So we'll do that. Then I'll do this. That's the rocket fuel tank. Okay, now we might be talking Thunderbirds. Um, at the top, I want that. But it's going to be... As a straight point, that probably works a little bit like that. And is slightly smaller than one would want sure let's just do that for now and then if we look at that that is looking about right what i need to do is perhaps drop this a little there we go now we should be able to put the engines at the bottom and see where we see where we end up from there so this is probably the hardest part of of making Thunderbird 1 now. Because these engines, they, they have little fins on them. It's It's got... There's, there's just a lot that goes on here. And I'm not entirely sure if I'm capable of making all of this the way I want it to be. So we'll start off by... Let's start off by doing this. Let's put a tiny little... Let's put a teeny... T okay, that's not going to work, is it? Because that is going to want to connect at a very specific size. How do I make it connect at just that size? Can I not do that? Okay. Um, how am I going to do this? Oh, I know. I know what I'll do. This is stupid. This is really stupid. All I'm trying to do is just give it this little gap. And then again, that comes back out to three meters. Like that. Then we'll do this, and that is where the rocket is going to sit. The rocket sits behind that. But also off this, we're going to have all the engine struts, so I'll probably make this a little bigger. Okay, get rid of this now. So that is that bit. Right, rocket and engine design. This is where a little is going to be the, the finicky bit, as I said. Um... Let me just pull up the Thunderbird 1 back. The back of it is a little bit tricky. Okay, Thunderbird 1 engines. There we go. So we're going to have some booster rockets and then obviously the nozzles for the other bits around it. So we've got this bit here. 
what we would would have a little strut between these I'll, I'll i'll see if i can get them working but through all of this we need to try and fit some structural panels now unfortunately these panels are not going to go the way i want them to go also where is my xyz on this this is that ah, there we go that that's way something because i think the way i want to make these it may not do it and how do i keep also how do i keep this only see i don't want i don't want to position i want to i want to make this larger but i want to make it larger only in a specific direction and how do i do that because otherwise it's going to cause otherwise it's going to see that is going to cause all sorts of issues don't want that i want it to be a specific size can i not do that so for example i could drag this down perfectly down and i'd want this to be perfectly down as well i would then want this to be perfectly across so i'm not sure if i can figure that one out and this is going to go around f put that back on it's going to go around four times like so I'll make this even bigger as long as i can do it at least once that will work uh and then we are going to want to no we are going to want to move it in a specific direction Ooh, just realized i need to do something with my laptop uh whoops bear with me one moment Okay, here we go. Um, how do I do this? So, I want to... I need them to go sort of slightly diagonal inwards. That's not going to... If I click that, will it... No. Do not touch that one. It's this one. It has to be this one. That just makes it go up and down. I cannot... What on earth? No. That isn't doing what I wanted to do. Uh, unless... Unless... I rotate it ever so slightly. Not 15 degrees of rotation. 5 degrees of rotation. Um, okay, I will, I will figure that out in a moment. First, what I need to do is move these in. I think this is, there we go. This is sort of doing what I wanted to do. This needs to be a little bit lower. Okay. So this is where all the engines are going to go within this sort of box that I'm going to create. So I'll say that this goes yeah we'll, we'll have it go in like that uh clearly this is not why is this no longer aligned this is not aligned the way i want it to be which is really annoying uh, is that aligned perhaps so let, let's go ahead and do that, and then, in fact, I'll move this out. I will then duplicate this one. Yep, yeah, sure. Put it in the exact same spot. Or apparently a close enough spot. And we'll, we'll go ahead and do the exact same movement to it. no idea if this is going to work there we go and then again with the movement we move it across there we'll move it down a little 
Why why are these not aligned correctly? I suppose that is where they need to be. Move this out. Move this out. And what we need to now do is very slowly move these into a position where there is some sort of alignment on all of them. So that needs to be about there. That needs to be... We'll do that. Nope. Bring that in. Bring that in. That's pretty close. That's pretty close. Okay. So, then what I need to do... So we've got this bit in the middle, which is good. Then what I need to do is add some more little struts and stuff. Uh, in fact, that detailing can come a little later. I need to... I do need to add another struts, but not just yet. First off, what I want to add are engines. So, off this bit, we're going to have some rockets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then we're going to have jet engines. So let's put the rockets in first. There we go. Now, how, how do these rockets... They're normally, they're quite recessed in on the ship. They are very much recessed. So I just need to perhaps work out how, how to make these. I guess what I could do is I could just push this. Oops, not that. I could just push this quite up into there we go doesn't look very good there nope there could do that which would then mean i would want to be could i make this smaller is it possible for me to make this bit smaller no i think i've gone Way too far to do that now. But I could make these bigger. There. This is not going to go very well to start with. I can tell you that almost for certain. Oh, with near certainty, I can tell you this is not going to go well. Um, ah, there is a way to tell, though, whether it is the right size or not, as these now touch. So if I do that, that should indicate the correct size. Good. So, oops. So we have that. We have a rocket here. Could make this rocket a lot bigger if we wanted to. And then what? Push it up further? There we go. Could even change the rocket. There we go. Now we're talking. Okay. Then I could add... Let's add tiny rockets. Now this may be going a little bit away from the... This is probably going a little bit away from the from the normal what you you may be used to in in a Thunderbird because I do not think it had four rockets or these additional rockets. It then just went to standard engines, but I just want to see what I can do. And then we go for uh, what's this Minotaur engine. Great efficiency between power and efficiency, or great great balance between power and efficiency. That's inefficient. Uh, fuel efficiency for more thrust. We don't want to, Oh, it has afterburners though. Does it, it has an afterburner. Afterburners are really important. 
but it's not fuel efficient. Let's try this. Let me try these. So there's one of them. Can I make these uh, smaller? Afterburner throttle, 100%. Uh, oh, at which the afterburner will kick in. Uh, kicks in at 90%. Shroud. Uh, I don't see a shroud. Reverse thrust. Yes. I, I, oh. I kind of need to make that smaller, don't I? Ah, yes, no shroud. Default shroud. Chevron. Fan. Straight, curved. Oh, that's that's very nice. Nozzle. Uh, military. Civilian. Basic. Let's go civilian. Inlet cone, spike, or none. This is going to be very interesting. And then I need to have that all the way around, just like that. And I need to clone it and add a second directly onto it. Ah, see, these are not, this is not lined up quite the way I want it to be. Maybe that's better. There we go. Then add a third onto that. That third one's not quite where it needs to be. There, onto that. And that's is the, the edge of the this bit. That's a bit, that's a lot of thrust. That's perhaps a bit too much in the way of thrust. I do not think that would be necessary. So let's go ahead and remove one whole section. Then what I'll do is let me bring, let me bring this in a little bit. I have to try and sort out the straights. Trying to make these straights is a is an art, shall we say. There we go. Now obviously this is supposed to narrow up as well. You can also see where this is not quite stabilized. But uh nevertheless, this is getting it is getting somewhere. That is quite cool. So let's do, let's stop painting this a little so that we can we can sort of see the thunderbird in it. There we go. We're starting to just just so that just for some visualization you can start seeing the thunderbird. I kind of want to make the entire back of this blue. Just sort of gives it a yeah, that that sort of a look. I do like that. Uh, I, I know this isn't quite what, what we want, but in fact, I guess I could do this. Uh, metallic, detail, smoothness. Oh, look. Now, now we're talking. Now we are talking. Um, starting to starting to give it a bit of a bit of a look. What's this base color now? Let's make that fairly shiny as well. Metallic. Also, I do know something about this bit. If I remember, I like a... Oh, you cannot do that. Oh, it's texture, isn't it? I was going to say that there is a texture. There it is. If I remember correctly, the original Thunderbird had this hexagonal pattern on, on this part of it. So... Now that we've got that, now again, I'm not saying this is perfect, there, there's some refinement to do, I'm basing it off the original Thunderbird at this point. What I could now do is start working on, well first we've got to work on the, the fins. How do I get the fins and the wings in? Let's put the wings in first. So the wings are going to have to be on a hinge. So we've got a hinge here. We'll put that hinge there and I guess we'll mirror it. Now let's find out more about this hinge. I 
have no idea if this is going to work. Uh, let me leave it as that for now. Then if I add a wing onto said hinge. Wing, 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 there we go. Yes, I can add a wing onto said hinge, it's upside down. That means the hinge is upside down. Rotate. Uh, ah, wait, what? Nope. It's this one. No, I want, I want this to be... There it is. Yes, it was the wrong way around. That needed to be 90. There we go. And now the wing fits. Good. Now to make adjustments to said wing. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. That wing is really not that close though, is it? And essentially, we want this wing to be able to... How am I going to get the wing to move outwards without crashing into... I've got to try and do this without getting it to crash into the body. The thing is that you should have a, a bit here, which I do not think I'll be able to put. Which would give this this wing the the sweep that that it needs. Um, also, I think this needs to be a lot higher up. I need to put it there. Well, that's upside down again. Clever. You, why do you keep going upside down? Not 890, just 90, please. And minus 90. There we go. Okay. How do I... How do I do this? You do that. You go quite far down. In fact, do not go that far down. Um, you start quite wide. You move... There we go. That's better. That space is all wrong, so therefore, maybe the cargo bay needs to go up first. So if I take... Right, if I take this off, take you off, take that off, fit that there, fit that there, and fit that there. There we go. That was easily done. Um, so that is in its... Yeah, this, this is not going to go well. This is something I shall have to work on as as time goes on. We'll start with we'll start with this, which is pretty bad in and of itself anyway. Because well, we've got this massive amount of interference here, or this this bit that's going to cause huge amounts of drag off the edge. So I tell you what, let's get rid of these for now. Let's just put these on, just as. Yeah, as wings that we cannot change. So we've got the wings. Perfect. They're not the best wings. So th there's a few different styles. This is the original style wings. Then you need the more, I think, slightly wider wings. So you've got the sweep back. See, what, what I could do is I could do this as a wing style to get us going for now. That requires no no hinges. Right, let me let me adjust this. I'm sort of jumping around a little just because I'm trying to come out with a few just trying to come up with a few ideas right now. And I might as well do something whilst coming up with the ideas. Uh, let me let me do that. These bits, yes, you stay like that. Okay. Can I duplicate you and fit you onto the end of that? I can. I can very much do that. That isn't going to work. But what is going to work? If I 
go ahead and uh, rotate you around 90 degrees. Yep. And then I go ahead and make you smaller. Now we're talking. We've got uh, an area that's a little bit enclosed. Now it shows, it also shows the problems I have. But we're, we're definitely getting there. And then let's leave this as a square for now. Let's try to increase that up to up to there. Uh -huh, and lift this up just that little bit. Uh-huh. And we have something. That's definitely something. What if I tried to do this again? Is there anything else I could... So, so I'd, I'd like to put it on top. The reason being is I want to do... I want to have a nozzle for an intake here. But that isn't going to work. Okay. For now, let's uh, say that this is an attempt. Um, no, there's something I do want to do. How do I do that? There we go. I need that all the way. Pretty much. Right, so on the end of these, I need fins. This is going to go badly. Little fins. Little fins on these. There's one. Uh, how how do these fins normally go? I think in this case the fins are well, they stick out a little. Nope. Oh, why does it keep doing that? Yeah, this this is not going well at this point. Tell you what, let, let's just see what would happen if I did this. Let's fill let's fill some of these tanks up. So this one is rocket fuel. This one is rocket fuel. This one is jet fuel. This one is rocket fuel. This one is going to be um, monopropellants, although we do not have the RCS thrusters yet. Uh, also, I need to figure out how to do reverses on this bit, but it is a start. This is certainly a start. Um, it's taken me nearly an hour to do this, but it doesn't look appalling for a very first attempt. How do I get rid of the... Uh, this again? Is it F10? F10. Oh yeah, I never figured out how to do the new rotation. So this is a very rough attempt at as a Thunderbird. And I do mean a very rough attempt as a Thunderbird. Let's have a look at what happens. Does it actually fly? Astoundingly, at least we know it flies. That's pretty cool. It, it is very weighted towards the front. Oh no, now it wants to flip over. That isn't good. And now we have rocket launchers. Uh, rocket launchers? Afterburners. Yes, rocket launchers. Okay, so we have some issues. We definitely have some, some balance issues, but... We are able to... Perhaps gyros. Gyros will do. End flight. Uh, retry and do. I'm going to do some some changes here. Let's go ahead and... Gyroscope. Fill it up. What else do I need? Obviously we do not have stabilizer fins. This is one of the biggest issues. Let me just put some fins on this for for flight control in a random spot 
I say random, not quite random, but certainly not where I, I would want them. These are going to get in the way. I'm going to move them here. We'll put, uh, generally there should be more than what I'm about to put, but for now I'll just put four of these. Uh, something, I think something like this. Yes, I'll do that. I'll have them all the way around. Oh no, don't do that, put that back. Have them all the way around. In fact, no, do one better. I'll do it like this. I'll have this. I will rotate. Oh, no. First I'll put this there. Is that in the middle? That is in the middle. I will then add a control surface to this. Good. I will then rotate it. No. I will then get rid of this. I will then clone it. I will then rotate it. 15 degrees. Good. I will then grab this one. I will move this into the exact same spot. And I will rotate this 15 degrees in the opposite direction. In fact, no, we'll do more than 15 degrees. We'll do 30 degrees there. And then... That also means that this one shall have the same 30 degrees. Because this is what I wanted to do in the first place with the with the fins out here. And it just is not letting me. I, I cannot figure out how to do it. Let's see if that helps. Because that is exactly what I want to do. Wait. Wait a minute. I want to put that here. And here. This isn't going to work, is it? This is, surely this will just fall off. There is no way. This, this must just fall off. Right? This isn't correct, by the way. This isn't exactly how I want it to be. Maybe I should actually make a larger grid size. That would probably help. Uh, there we go. That in there. Yeah, tuck that in a little bit. It's better than nothing. It's, it's definitely better than nothing. This isn't... That is not what I wanted. Rotate. That is probably better. In which case we'll do that. There we go. Okay. And then we move these to sort of line them up. Good. And I guess... What am I going to do? Ah, hold on. Make that global or world. Move that out. Move that out. Like that. Maybe like that. This isn't very good. And then, of course, paint it all blue. Where's the blue? There this is. How do I change the... Somebody said there's a way for me to change this. How do I do that? How do I change this bit here? Is it just one of these colours? As soon as I can figure out how to do that, that will be excellent. Let's try that. Uh, what's the issues? May need more battery to operate. Right. Okay. Oops. Battery, battery, battery. Is that bad? Is that better? Yes. Good. It looks a little bit better. Don't like the red. Red's not quite right. But as, as another attempt, it looks a little bit better. We've got some some additional stability. Now, whether this stability helps us, I'm not sure. I really should have done the Thunderbird countdown. But um, if this is not going to work, uh, I, do I want to do a Thunderbird countdown? I 
I want to tip over. There's something about it, the centre of mass and the way the the way it goes, that is not helping in the slightest. There come the afterburners. Yep, yeah, some something something is not. Something is very much not right here. I could probably fix something along on this. Could even be the wings, to be to be honest. I kind of want I want to do a little. I want to get some of this done. I, I know it's. I should probably be ending this video, but I really, really want to get some of this done. Let me just try this. This is not a style. See, realistically, what you'd have is you'd have that, and then as it goes into high speed, it turns to that. Let's try some low. Let's try a low speed wing style then. So low speed. It hasn't folded back yet. We've got wings that are more like, or more like this, I guess. There we go. They haven't folded back. They've got a wingspan. Let's see what that does. And then we, we can work, I guess, can work from there. Um, do I really want to do it? Five, four, three, two, one. Thunderbirds are go. And all that stuff. We should do the deep voice. I cannot do the deep voice. Can I do the deep voice? Hold on. Go really deep in, into... Thunderbirds are go. Maybe? I don't know. There's that. There you go. You can see the... The problem. But why? I mean, if you want to go into flights like that... That was excellent, by the way. Talk about transferring to a horizontal flight in, in a in an absolutely superb fashion. You see, this is this is not a it's not an aircraft that wants to fly. Annoyingly, why does it not want to fly? Uh, is is it too weighty at the? So what's happening? Let's see. It's it's lifting off. And the front nose is twisting it around? Or is it being pushed around by the back? Okay. Here's an idea. To test this, I'm going to weigh down the front of the craft. Yes, because that is exactly how it's supposed to be. Stupid. Um, let's weigh down the front of the craft. And I'll fill it up with... Let's fill it up with more jet fuel. Let's see what happens. Just... Just see if it does it, does it nose over? What, what does it do? Five, four, three, two, one, Thunderbirds, I'll go. There we go. Or does it actually try to stay a little bit more balanced now? It's staying more balanced. It was just too light at the front. So we've got to work something out there. Okay, now the question is... Oh, no. It still does it. Why does it still do that? I mean, we're, we're now in horizontal... Actually, it's, it's trying to... It's trying to... It is fighting it. I, I need to get this... I need to get this little bit working at the very least. Let's give it a lot more in the way of lift on those. Uh, how am I going to do this? What if I emptied one of these tanks? Lighten up the back of it. See what happens. So there we go. We've, we've just lightened up we've got way less rocket fuel now but plenty of jet fuel 
It's just going to give me an idea as to where... where this nose is pushing from, and why. Where and why? Too, too big... It does kind of look like a Thunderbird, you know. There it goes again. There's a tip. It's not that. It is very much not that. Let's gain some lift. Come on. Oh, and suddenly I had no... Why are these not... Ah, hang on. Something else I've noticed. Something else I've noticed. Maybe this is what is also causing some issues. Um, give that more. And just give it... No. What? Axis, pitch zero. Your zero, roll one. You already have a control surface. And yours is your... There are no roll surfaces. Ah. Single axis, there we go. Single axis. There we go. This may give us a little bit more to play with. Maybe. May not. Let me attempt that. And again, I'm just going to fill up the fuel in this because that clearly is making no difference whatsoever. Uh, let's try that, try that. Can I add a little bit more gyro here? I think that could work. Control, control. Gyroscope. Now it's looking less like a Thunderbird, but it's just a matter of getting things working. It still looks like a Thunderbird, I guess. There we go. That doesn't look too bad. Uh, Thunderbird, what it really should have is uh, rivets in this, in this design. There we go, panels. Yes. Panels all the way down. And then camouflage. That, that is looking... That looks good. So what I should do is whatever this paint is... What was it? What is this one? No, no, no. Custom. Is it this base colour? Let's make that detail quite... See, we don't want it to be able to... We don't want to be able to see it in massive depth, but... This should look pretty spectacular now and the these tiles no 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 I mean I guess I really could I'm not sure that really works it's fine We'll deal with it. What's the issue? Need more battery to operate. We need more battery to operate. I've given you a whole bunch of battery. Alright, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll add a battery to this then. Where do I add a battery? Give me a battery. Uh, battery? Anybody? Uh, maybe this? Lies and more compact alternative to batteries. Well, that's... No! I want an actual battery. Multifunction display. No. That is power, electronics, so why do I not have... Battery control there. Uh... Maybe, maybe it's got to be a tiny fuel tank. Does that have battery? Fuel type. Battery! There you go. I figured it out, eventually. This, this thing's just getting bigger and bigger.
Well, at least it gives off the smoke like Thunderbird 1 does. Okay, so... Now do I have better control with the gyroscopes? A little bit. I am now... It's trying to roll for some reason. Do not roll. Oh, okay. Something weird is going on. Something very, very weird. And let's just go for full power. Well, anyway, that was an interesting attempt. I, I do want to come back to this, that's for sure. Yeah, this is, this is, this is just... This is just not... This is not a Thunderbird. This, this is a Thunderflop. This is what this is. Oh, well. Thank you very much for watching. At least there was something. Um, I might be able to learn something from that spiralling... From the way this, this moves, though. Hang on, hang on. I see... I see something happening. I think I understand something about what's going on here with the lift. I think. I'm not entirely sure, though. Anyway, I am going to end it there. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on the Juno New Origins. I am going to... I want to do this and do this properly. Obviously, this is uh, a thunder flop, as I said. But, hey, it does look a little bit like the original Thunderbird. So, in that sense, it hasn't, it hasn't been a total disaster. And at this point in time, it is sort of flying. I don't know how, but it is sort of flying and there's plenty of fuel on board. Obviously it isn't going to get to the seven and a half thousand miles per hour that the Thunderbird originally, Thunderbird 1 could get to. Why does it want to constantly roll? That's the other issue I've got. But yes, it, look, it, at the moment it is, it is flying. And we're doing about 400-ish, well, over 400 miles an hour, nearly 500 miles per hour. So we are coming up to the speed of sound. 330-ish uh, meters per second is what we are looking at. I'm not sure it's going to reach it. It's, it's very unstable. I'm going to have to look at the center of gravity of this. Center of mass, center of thrust, all that kind of stuff and see what I can do. But for now, as I said, thank you very much for watching. We've got this far. Uh, please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Juno New Origins. I am going to, as I said, try to try to solve this. Leave a comment in the comments box below with your suggestions. I think I might need to go and do a complete redesign of the Thunderbird to make it fly in real life. But there we go. Uh, if you can do so, please do consider supporting me on Patreon. Link in the description box below. And also, you can find me on social media at ECGadgetLP for both Twitter and Instagram. Lastly, you can find my Discord link uh, if you want to perhaps give your drawings, your suggestions, anything like that. Uh, do go, do go check out my Discord link and I shall, I shall have a look on Discord if it is not in the comments. That is all from me and a very, very wobbly Thunderbird. But it does at least look somewhat like a Thunderbird. And I shall see you next time in Juno New Origins.